Hey guys, Nick Pregnance here with DuramaxTuner.com, here with another installation of Diesel Insights. Today we're going to be talking about tuning a little bit, and specifically the Lambda Limit. Now we've talked about fuel limits and torque limits in the past, and how they're in the, uh, how they're in the tune, and what reasons they're there for, right, to maybe limit fueling based on engine coolant temp, or barometric pressure, or to protect axles or transmissions, or that sort of thing. Today, Lambda Limit is about air-fuel ratio, and about controlling the amount of fuel and the torque that the engine makes based on the amount of air that's available in the system. Now, if you're in a sled pulling class or you're in a drag racing class or some performance class where you are just simply limited by turbocharger size, you're going to push every ounce of fuel you can through that truck to try and get every last bit of po power out of the truck. You don't care if it goes down the track black or gray or extra dirty. I mean, you're going to tear the motor down at the end of the season or the end of next season as soon as it burns a piston up and it's not a big deal. On a street-driven truck, a little different, right? We don't want that lack of reliability that comes from an extra hot tune-up. And what I mean by that is 800, 1,800 degrees, 1,700 degrees, heck, 1,600 degrees even scares a lot of guys. And as you get that lambda limit up there in the, in the dark gray to dark soot under heavy load, you're going to start to lose reliability in your street-driven truck. I take that a step further. I'm going to take that into the emissions situation. So at DuramaxTuner.com and Calibrated Power, we're big on tuning emissions equipped trucks and making them live long term, reliable, stuff that lasts. And what that means is that we especially have to be careful of our lambda limit because emissions system components are very sensitive to that, particularly the DPF and the EGR system. On an emissions equipped truck, it's important that we watch particulate output because particulate output is caught up in the DPF. An extra particulate output can plug the DPF or face plug the DPF or simply cause excessive regenerations. And when you get excessive regenerations, you get degraded life on the emissions equipment and ultimately degraded life on the truck. So we want to make sure that we avoid that situation. How we do that is by limiting the lower lambda limit of the truck. That means we won't let it run any richer than a certain point. And what that's going to do is keep EGT in check, keep soot output in check, and keep the truck reliable long term. How are we going to do that? We're going to look at inputs from the truck. We're going to look at mass airflow. We're going to look at engine speed. We're going to look at boost. We're going to look at cold air charge temperature. And we're going to see how much air is truly coming, through, coming into the truck. Right? Once we have those numbers, we can make calculations that say, OK, we have a certain amount of air and we have a certain amount of engine speed. How much fuel can we use? And by making those calculations, we can protect the truck and we can protect the emission system components from that overly rich condition. When it all works, it works really slick and it allows the truck to make the most of the air that's available. Even better, when you get in those situations when air isn't available, extra humidity, extra heat, really high altitude, or just a clogged air filter, a situation that's, you know, lack of maintenance, the truck's going to protect itself. So it's not going to see that air, and as a result, it's not going to fuel. And it's going to keep the truck reliable long term by doing so. That's the benefit of watching air fuel ratio and controlling the fuel limit based on stoichiometric values or air fuel ratio or lambda. I'm Nick Pregnance. This is Diesel Insights. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.